Water's tight right now. This corn is rolling. A lot of times it's rolling by 11 o'clock and she's gonna stay rolled up till maybe four or five o'clock. People concerned about moisture. If we're gonna be dry, this is the time to be dry. We're uh, pushing back disease, especially like tar spot in this case. Root systems are going deep and this plant is just protecting itself as it's rolling up every day. It's monitoring its water loss. And you can tell it's still uh, in good shape because this corn's growing like crazy at night. So we're still seeing this thing jump as it's moving along. And that's a good indicator when you see it continue to jump in size that while it looks stressed, it's handling it pretty good. It's also a time of year when the sins of spring show up and the hand, they don't handle it as well. So if we look at this next row, this is a wheel track row. And this is a wheel track put in when it was too wet. This corn is rolling up early in the day, staying rolled up most of the day and not unrolling until late evening. And it's not growing. So it's a situation it's stayed at this place now for almost 10 days. We're not getting any extra growth. So this is stressed. As you look at the fields today, you look for those fields that are showing that stress and they're not growing, they're gonna be showing the sins of spring. In this case is wheel track compaction. There's also a layer under here that's also affecting this uh, and that's showing up too. But if we got a good vertical root system, we're still handling this moisture stress in pretty good shape.